hello guys welcome to my channel again right now i'm not in the farm so there are no pigs behind me because anytime i'm in the, I'm in the farm there are always pigs behind me so uh but in as much as i'm not in the farm today i'll still make this video because i love putting our contents there i love sharing the things i've learned in my big journey so far and i just give that there giving to you people out there so uh, today i'm talking about the gestation period of a pig what is the gestation period of a pig like you all know pigs have pigs are prolific breeders that means they give better quantity and their gestation period is also very very small now what is their gestation period a pig's gestation period is um three months three weeks and three days now you can calculate how many days it is so um that means since a pig's gestation period is almost four months that means pigs can give birth twice in a year so that's why pig farming is very 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 lucrative because your farm can your farm can blow up when i mean blow up i mean can multiply within a short period of time okay let's assume that you started with 20 pigs okay let's just say 20 pigs is too much for those people that want to start small let's assume you started with five female pigs and one boar which is a, which is a male pig now let's assume that your boar served all your pig what is serving what i mean by serving is mating mating is called serving is a pig term a term in, in pig farming which is called serving so let's assume that your your boy have served all your five female pigs in January. Now, the pregnancy period of a pig is almost four months, but it's three months, three weeks, and three days. Now, from January to February, that's one month. February to March. March to April. April to June. So your pigs will give birth in June. They'll give it in June. Now, from that June to end of July, they will nurse their piglets. I know. They will, and the piglets and the piglets will suck milk, which is very rich in colostrum, which which they need in their body. So um, that means from the next month you can be able to serve them. And before the end of the year, they will still give it to an alita. So someone that started with um with five piglets, so with five female pigs. In one year, and let's assume that those piglets gave birth to seven each throughout the year. You can also make it ten, but I like keeping things at the very, very minimal level. I like putting my expectations high before it come crashing. So I just put my expectations, you know, kind of average. So five times seven, that means you have about five pigs. Now let's assume that that's that five. Half of it are female pigs. Now let's say, let's assume that um, 15 are female pigs. Now, those 15 female pigs plus your five initial sows, imagine when they start giving beds. So the business, the, your farm can blow up very quickly. So that's why pig, that, that's why pig business is very, very um, encouraging. And if you're able to do the right things and get things right, it can work out for you. So that's basically it on today's video. Thank you very much. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.